Okay, guys, here we go. Hello, everyone. Today I'm making a video about the basics of computer, and uh, I think everyone is suffering from the lockdown, and the coronavirus is everywhere. So we must be careful about our routine. So uh, first of all, I want to. Uh, tell you all to stay safe and stay in, in your home uh, and secondly we are providing this reference course from here online through the youtube channel and uh, today's video uh, is about the computer science for class 6 and 7 so today i am just giving you uh, the basic introduction about the computer you can see i am logged into wikipedia.org and you can go here sorry my internet is turned off for the recording so i want to use the notepad okay so let's go with that for this video is going to be for class 6 and 7 especially so let's start with the basic of the computer I will give other videos in other uh, subjects and other matters but today it is about the basics of computer so for class 6 and 7 today it is so introduction to the computer introduction so what is a computer a computer is an electronic machine it's a basic electronic machine first of all basically it is an electronic machine and before that it is a machine just like we use different kind of machine in our daily life for doing different kind of things we use the computer for different kind of things as well but the computers they will not help us to physically do some things but they help us to design different kind of materials design uh, the outlay design the mechanics and it helps us to electronically process different kind of data and information generally computer is information processing machine it is also called information processing machines because uh, the main aim the main idea of the computer is to process the information means process the data analyze the data and find out the information so there can be different raw data and they must be processed to find out the perfect information and that becomes the job of computer so i want to tell you that computer will not physically go and dig your field computer will not play with you yes and the computer will not help you to cook in your kitchen but it can be used for communicating it can be used for processing the different kind of data and find out the critical information so that can be helpful for different fields yes that can be helpful for education that can be helpful for medicines and that can be helpful for different kind of research engineering spacecraft designing and different other things the computer can help us uh, and that doesn't mean uh, there are different other technologies that are being introduced which are controlled by the computer but let's go with the basic things now today so computer is a machine just like the other machines it helps us to do different kind of things and secondly it is electronic machine it is electronic machine okay computer is an electronic machine that is the basic thing and we have to add to the definition that it has a special working mechanism means the computer works in a certain way so computer has three steps of working mechanism working mechanism the first step is it takes the input takes input and the second step it processes the input 
and in the third step it finds out the results and gives the result as output so basically the computer is an electronic machine that works on the mechanism like it takes the input first of all and secondly it process the input according to the instruction means it process the input and find out a kind of result and gives the result to us so if we take the basic example of calculator calculator is also a small computer so how does the calculator function you must know first of all you have to give data to the calculator like numbers and operators and you have to click enter or equal to sign and then the input is given to that and inside the calculator there is a processing unit yeah we, we call it the computer's brain cpu central processing unit and the cpu performs the action means cpu uh, calculates whatever you instructions you have given to it and after that it provides you the final result after processing so we have to give the input to the computer and let the computer process the input we have given and then after processing it finds out the result and that result it gives back to us it gives the result back to us us means users computers who use the computer they are called the users so now we make the complete definition of the computer uh, computer is an what what is that it is uh, uh, an electronic machine how does it work it works by a simple mechanism input process and output that takes data as input and after taking the data after taking the data what does it do process processes the after that what does it do and gives the result so this is the definition for the computer computer is an electronic machine that takes data as input processes them and gives the results so this is how the computer work this is the definition of the computer computer is an electronic machine that takes data as input processes them and gives the results back to us now uh, if you see this definition basically every kind of machine even the human body works on the same mechanism like every machine they take the input the load and they process them and they gives a kind of output yeah it can be physical or energy or something else so but the computer has some special features that makes us a special kind of machine okay so let's talk about what special features the computer have computer has really some good special features that make it special so special features of computer why computers are used everywhere why is it needed why are we learning computer right now because computer has a lot of applicability it can be uh, applicable in different fields that we visit every day means in day-to-day -day life the computer can be helpful at your home at your office at the hospital so you go to check with the doctor and it can be useful in making your house designing the uh, type of your house designing the outlay inlay of your house and it can be helpful in the communication sector also suppose if there were no computers we may not be able to communicate like this sitting at home and communicating different kind of information throughout the world to the internet now so there are different kind of applications of computer um, and that all happened because it has special features so let's talk about the special features of computers so the first feature is speed that means a computer is a very speedy machine and it can do its job in a very less amount of time without any hurdle that means once the instructions are given to the computer the computer processes them without any problem yeah so speedy means the computer is a very speedy machine 
and it can do its job in a very small amount of time however hard is that that's why the computer is very much useful in different fields the, the, the same tasks or the calculations that can take us uh, day long or a week long that can be processed by a computer in one second isn't that wonderful that's a wonderful feature and after that another is accuracy so computer is a very accurate machine because it never makes mistake it doesn't make any mistake so once while giving the data and instruction to the computer if you have given it if we have given it the correct data then the computer always produces the correct output means a computer is always accurate means it gives the 100 percent accurate result it does the job in very fast speed and even then while doing the job in fast speed it doesn't make any mistake so this is the another special feature of computer in third number diligence so this is another feature of computer uh, that matches uh, it is also called the reliability so a computer has another feature reliability it means you can rely on the computer once you have given the instruction it will be fulfilled by the computer because computer doesn't get tired doesn't get bored and once you have given the instruction to the computer it will not delay to perform that action in the fastest speed it has means the computer is a very reliable machine it doesn't get bored and tired just like the human beings so it is wonderful that way also now number fourth is versatile so you know the meaning of versatile versatile means the capacity of being different things or doing different kind of things that is versatile okay so versatile means the capacity of doing different kinds of thing it doesn't mean doing the same thing again and again in different time but doing different kind of thing according to the situation so you can see uh, um, computer can be used in different fields a engineer is using it a gamer is using it for playing games uh, and the music artists they can also use the computer for recording and editing their sounds yes and the uh, cinematography is equally uh, facilitated by the computer yeah so a computer is a versatile kind of machine which can be used in different fields and it can help us to do different type of things and it has the capacity to different kind of um, activities that's why it is called the versatile machine and after that uh, another special feature is communication that means a computer can be used for communication because the computer has the capacity to send and receive the data through different mediums there are wired mediums wireless mediums and however the data can be transferred from one computer to another computer in a very small period of time and that is a very handy feature of computer and that also help us to communicate and share our information worldwide just like uh, we are doing right now so communication is another special feature of computer and after that the another feature is storage you know the informations are there the data are there there are different things applications are there and all the different kind of software are there and the computer has the capacity to store them electronically or magnetically it's on us what kind of storage device we use but however the computer has a great capacity of storing the things for the future use whatever information we have produced whatever data we have collected we can store them in electronic format in electronic format in electronic way inside the computer in different kind of storage devices like hard disk pen drive memory cards whatever so storage is another amazing feature of computer we can save our data we can save the photos videos applications and different data inside the computer so these are the special features of computer and this is the definition so let's review once again so we read today the computer 
is a basical basically it is a machine it's a basic machine and after that it was made for calculation first of all and now it is being advanced day by day and people are making different kind of you know improvements in the computer technology so the computer's definition has been changed now so computer is an electronic machine that can take input process the input and gives the output as a result to us so in the way that is the definition of the computer and after that the computer has some special features that's why the computer is especially used in different fields so some of the special features i have given here speed accuracy reliability versatile communication and storage all right and the next thing i want to tell you about the computer is limitations limitations of computer so though computer is a very amazing machine and it has different features it has some limitations also means it is a machine basically that is the limitation and the machines they just do the things that we say they don't do their things their own so that is the limitation of computer and secondarily there are other it cannot think wisely like if there is something to be done the computer cannot think whether it is doing the wrong thing or right thing so people if they are thinking wrong they can misuse the computer's ability for negative purposes so the first limitation of the computer is it cannot think wise and second it needs commands to run okay so it cannot think wise means it cannot think what is right or what is wrong and second it needs commands to run without the commands without the co software the computer cannot run applications or the you know commands from the user the computer cannot run and thirdly it needs continuous electricity so computer runs with electricity as we have already seen if there is no electronic power if there is no electricity then the computer cannot run so these three are the basic limitations of the computer there can be many others but basically these three are the basic limitations of the computer which makes it just a machine being a wonderful machine it had some limitations limitations means something the computer cannot do all right guys so this was for today and today uh, this was the video for class 6 and 7 i'll try to make all the videos for class 8 and 9 and probably our other videos will also come i'll try to make other videos on other subjects also next time we'll read the end of the lesson so thank you and study well stay safe drink clean water and drink keep on drinking water in every half hour or one hour interval thank you